Access doesn't have a table of contents feature or an index feature for reports. However, you can use a table to store description and page numbers and then create a report that's based upon that table to use as your table of contents report. For example, I've got my customer orders report. Let me right click on it, go to print preview. And you can see up at the top my first category and all the products that are tied to it. Let me go to page four. There's my next category and all its corresponding products tied to that category. So what I want to do is I want to create a table of contents report that will give me the category name and the page number that I can find it on. Like for example, Fort Tent found on page four and Screen Tent on page six. So to create that, the first thing that we want to do is create a table called the table of contents as I just mentioned and then of course based upon that table we'll have a report. It's a little bit more than creating a table, it's going to require a little bit of coding but if you'll be patient with me we'll be able to get through this pretty quickly. So let me go ahead and close out a print preview. Let's create that table, come up here, click on the create tab, go to the tables group, click on table design and we're going to add two fields. First of all the first field category and we'll leave it as the data type text and then down below in its corresponding field properties, let's go ahead and change from indexed no to yes, no duplicates. And you can see no duplicates prohibits duplicate values in the field. In other words, I've got one category. I don't want that same category listed again just one time. So next one I want to add is the page number and change the data type. Let me type in NUM, hit the tab key for the number data type field. And then when I'm finished, let me go ahead and click Save and call it my hit enter. Now it says it can't find a primary key field. Do you want to go ahead and create one now? No. This one doesn't require a primary key field. Now you're probably asking how do we get the data from this report, like the categories, the name, and also the corresponding page number that it's found on, over into the table of contents here, where we can base a report upon this table here to print off to be able to list the category and the page number that it's found on. Well, we're going to create a module and in this module add some coding that tells it to look in this report, take the information, dump it into here, and then of course after we do that then we can generate that report based upon the data found in the uh, table of contents here. So to create that module before I do that, be sure that you follow everything that I'm doing here because in that module when it comes to coding it's going to be referring to the actual name of the table here, table of contents. So if you go watching this training video, um, I'm going to call it table of C. Well, I guess that's okay, but when it comes to the coding, you better make sure that in there it says table of C, but here I'm going to be referring to it as the actual name here, table of contents. So let's go ahead and get started, close out, but that's a disclaimer there. To create the module, come up here, click on create, go to macros and code, click on module, and then what you want to do is you want to type in some code here, or better yet, if you got the instructor notes, go ahead and copy and paste it as what I'm going to be doing here. And there we go. Let me scroll up so you can see how much code we've added. Now the coding that I added when I pasted it, I didn't paste the lines in here. The Visual Basic or the module did that. It said, okay, here's a break. I can see it. Let me go ahead and add a line. So don't worry about adding lines. Just go ahead and type it as you see it. Or like I said, look to the instructor notes and copy and paste it. Now, I would be lying to you if I told you I understood all this code here. What I did is I looked at it and broke it down and created my own variation of it. So we've got generic code here, and you can read the uh, green comments that tells us what's happening here, what the code's going to be doing. Like down here, it says open the table. What table? Well, it has the table of contents. And then within the table of contents, it's going to be referring to the category field. So that's why it's important that when you create the table of contents, that you name it just like I named it, table of contents, unless you call it table of C, then be sure to come in here and also up here wherever you see table of contents and replace it with your name, table of C, table of C. Well, you get the idea. And then coming down below, you can see the rest of it here. Like I said, you can type it in or you can copy and paste it in and then make sure you update these fields with your names if you're not using the exact same names, the name of the table and the name of the fields within, like category and page number, with your names. When I'm finished, Let's go ahead and click Save and call it the TOC for Table of Contents. Click Okie Dokie. When we're done, come up here, click on File, go to Close and Return to Microsoft Access. So now we've got the report, we've got the code that's going to look in the report, take the information, dump it into the Table of Contents. So I guess the next thing that we want to do is to create a report based upon this table here so we can pull that information and be able to print it off. 
So let's come up here on the Create tab, go to the Reports group, click on Report Design. Up in the page header, you can go ahead and type in the name of your report here, like Table of Contents, or put in the company logo, whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to keep it simple here, because you already know how to clean up the report and add things to it, make it fancy, as we did in earlier training videos. Now this report is going to be based upon the Table of Contents table, so I need to bring up the property sheet for the report here, and I can do that by double-clicking really fast on this little square here, and it brings up its corresponding property sheet with the report selected. Or just come up here on the Design tab to the Tools group, click on Property Sheet, click on the drop-down arrow, and select Report. Then come over here on the Alt tab to the Record Source group, click on the drop-down arrow, and select our Table of Contents. Okay, let me go ahead and close out of it now. And then next, we want to be able to add the category field and the page number field, those two fields from the table here, to this report. So I want to come up here, Design tab, again to the Tools group, click on Add Existing Fields, and I'll just go ahead and click and drag Category there, and click and drag Page Number there. I'm going to delete their corresponding labels here and just put Category right there, and maybe Page Number about right there. Maybe make Category just a bit bigger there. In any case, you get the idea. Go ahead and close out of here, scroll down to the bottom, hover over the top of the page footer bar until I can see two black arrows pointing up and down that I can click and drag to stretch that up so I can avoid all this gap in between each record here or each category that's being pulled over. Then when I'm finished, let me go ahead and click Save, call it my RPT. Table of Contents Report, click OK, and almost done. Let's go ahead and close out of here. Next, we need to go back to the original report so we can do a little bit more coding so we can tie it into the module here. And to do that, let's right click on it, go to the design view. A few things here. Let's go ahead and bring up the property sheet for the entire report by double clicking off in a blank area here and it brings it up. Go ahead and click on the event tab and then we want to find on open. And in this field, we're going to go ahead and type in equals init and there it is. TLC. If you see it, just go ahead and hit the tab key and then be sure to close the uh, parentheses here so it says equals init TLC open close parentheses then hit enter to make sure it accepts it. So when it opens it's going to go ahead and initiate the uh, table of contents here, the coding found over in the uh, module and we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and select the category header and then come back over here in the property sheet where it says on print and we're going to add in this code. Let me go ahead and zoom in on the field here. Where it's going to go ahead and update the table of contents with the category here found in this report. So type it like you see it. Go ahead and click OK. Be sure to hit Enter to make sure it accepts it. And then one more down on the page footer here. Go ahead and select that bar. And then over in the property sheet on the event tab where it says on print. Let me zoom in on that field. Let's go ahead and add the following code. There it is, equals update page number open and close parentheses. Click OK, hit enter to make sure it likes it. When we're done, be sure to save your work. Go ahead and close out, and that's it. So with all the coding in place, and like I said, it's a lot of coding, but if you just simply follow the logic that I used here when it came to naming the table here and updating the code within the module to make sure it pointed to the table, the name of it, table of contents, and also the fields, I think you'll be fine. Just follow along, and then now, to go ahead and test this, let's right-click, go to Print Preview, and what you need to do to actually generate and get all the categories with the corresponding page numbers in this report dumped into the Table of Contents, which the Table of Contents report is based upon, is that you actually have to open up this report. Not only do you have to open it up, but you have to go to the end of the report, because when you go to the end of the report, down at the bottom, in the navigation bar, when you click on Last Page, when you go to the end, you see how it quickly went through each page. It automatically, when you went through it, the coding said, quickly, let's look at page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you don't scroll through all those pages or go to the end, it's not going to be able to view the whole report and pull in the corresponding category and their page numbers that they're found on. So that brings up a good point. If the category used to be on page 5, and you made some changes, add some more records, now it's on page 6, anytime you do updates, always open up your report here and go to the last page so the coding here can look at it and then correctly update that in the table of contents table. So when we're done, let me close the print preview and we open up our table of contents report, right click and go to print preview, click to zoom in. It actually has the correct page number. 
Cool, huh? Accessories on page one, Fort Tent 4, Screen Tent 6, there's your table of contents. Well, you know how to go ahead and clean up this report so it looks good, but the challenging part, I think, was just the coding. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.